Hi, my name is Kenny Wang, and today I will begin. Uh, I will speak about using the distance map widget in Orange. To begin, we first need to set up a proper schema. Uh, today, we will use uh, heart disease data from file, and then to render it into a format that the distance map can use, we have to use the attribute distance widget. Attribute distance merely converts data into its attributes and then assigns them uh, various distances, I guess, from the data provided. This then is outputted towards our distance map. Looking through all the tabs of distance map, we can see various uh, elements that we can change. For example, the dis distance map cell size pixels, we can change the width and length of the distance map. We can make the cells squares, and we can show a grid. Merge and sort are interrelated, and that merge will merge very large sets of data with many attributes together if, for example, age and gender were somehow related. If these two attributes were very interrelated, then it is very possible to merge the two because there is little distinction or there is a high causal relationship between them. And for example, in merge, we see this happens. However, since we're working with such few data points, the, mer the merge option is not exactly necessary. Sorting is uh, a way by which relevant, data, uh, relevant attributes can be sorted and put together in unique and novel combinations to see new uh, perspectives onto... onto um, for a researcher. For example, in clustering, we can see how a tree is created of relevant attributes. And in clustering with ordered leaves, similarly, this occurs. On to the colors settings. This is relatively straightforward. We can change the colors. For example, uh, the default is right now set to my color schema. However, we can change it to the default, which is a blue-yellow combination. Furthermore, we can enable something called a threshold, which is a minimum and maximum threshold we can, we can establish. For example, anything below 0.1, as set by this threshold right here, will not show up on the graph. So you see all of these are roughly less than 0.1, but everything above 0.1 will show up. And this is a way to filter out unnecessary noise or things below a th certain threshold of relevant information. Lastly, uh, onto the info tab, we have annotations and legends. We can show our legend. We can show labels. We can show tooltips and display item names. Display item names pretty much gives a, a display of both uh, attributes and the distance between them. Then we may select, undo, remove all selections, and send selections further along our schema. Thank you for listening to the presentation of Distance Map on Orange.